Since 2020, the world has been living in a global pandemic. And as the world has changed for everybody, it certainly has hit the dis disability community a little bit differently than the average population. Today's video, I will be discussing the ways in which COVID-19 has affected the disability community. Stay tuned if you wanna hear my thoughts. Everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Blemmy. I'm a 36 year old woman who lives with spastic diplegia cerebral palsy. And on this channel, I give my thoughts and my experiences living with cerebral palsy. Most of this channel is disability related, but I do throw a little bit of lifestyle and fashion content in now and again. Thank you for joining me today. I know it's been a hot minute since I've posted. If you want to know where I've been and what I've been up to, I will link it up here. Also, I will link that video in the notes below if you want to have a look. Okay, so today's video, I have thought a lot about if I should post or not. And I thought it's probably time now the world has been living with the global pandemic of covid for a good two and a half years. And as the world is slowly coming back to normalcy, um, I thought I would talk about the ways in which I believe the pandemic has affected the disability community. Now, a big disclaimer, <clears throat> excuse me. I am in no way an expert on the topic. I am in no way, um, saying that this list is inclusive or that it affects every disabled person in these ways. It's not a complete list. These are just my thoughts and my feelings on the topic. So if you really don't want to hear more about this, then please, this video is not for you. Feel free to check out my other videos, like them, subscribe, like this video, subscribe, and let's get so in early 2020, the world was hit with the global pandemic and it seemed like that our world had changed completely overnight. Whether you were locked down or you weren't, um, things had definitely changed. And for the disability community, things changed a lot. Here are just some of the ways that I believe the world has changed for the worst for the disability community. I don't know about you guys, but when COVID hit and we were told to stay in our houses, the isolation was insurmountable for a lot of disabled people, um, myself included. We were scared. We knew a lot of us that we were in, we were compromised and we knew a lot of us that if we were to catch COVID that it would not turn out well for a lot of us because a lot of us not only have disability, but we have underlying health problems as well. There was no vaccines and we were scared. So a lot of us, whether it was mandatory lockdown or not, we stayed in our homes. And we did that religiously. We didn't see anybody, we didn't go anywhere, we didn't talk to anybody, our loved ones, we would just FaceTime, our communities we would see over the internet and it was lonely. And it still is lonely for a lot of people who are still scared even after the vaccine or they're not able to for health reasons to get vaccine. Um, the isolation, it's a lot and that has taken a toll on a lot of people not just the disability community, but it's hit us in a different way, I think. In a community that was already isolated, that already knows what it feels to be alone, it just crushed, you know? Like, you guys get what I'm saying here? It just felt like we were just doubly isolated. So that was one way that it has affected us. Another way that I've seen that it's affected us as things have come open up and we kind of some of us have been able to reemerge in the community, going shopping, going to parks. Have you guys noticed that there aren't any public seating anywhere? 
The food courts don't have tables, don't have chairs, don't have places for us to sit and take a load off. I went shopping the other day and if I didn't have my walker with me, there would have been nowhere for me to stop, sit and take a load off. No benches, nothing. No places for people to sit. Now I get why they did that because it's just another surface to clean. But seating benches, it's, it's needed for the disabled community. Um, we can't really go shopping, go to places if we can't uh, take a break and sit down. Um, it was mentioned to me too that taking away park benches also not only affected the disabled community, it also affected the homeless community in that they didn't have a place to sleep at night as well. So please, it's time now, it's a 2022 World's re-emerging, bring back the mall chairs and park benches, we need them. They weren't just for look, they weren't just for show, they are needed by many different communities, it's time. So when the pandemic first hit, um, we were scared and a lot of places shut down and a lot of people lost their jobs. Um, started working from home, not just the disabled community, however, as the world started re-emerging and they started saying come back to the office a lot of the disabled community still is not comfortable going out did not want to return to the office and we lost our jobs because we decided that our health was more important our lives are more important than a livelihood but the catch-22 is can you really have a life without a livelihood and a lot of us had to give up our jobs we had to prioritize our health and our mental well-being and we had to say no we are not going back to the office and so a lot of us lost our jobs another way that the pandemic has unfairly hit the disabled community i don't know about where you guys are from but where i am from there was a giant pushback of wearing masks People did not want to wear masks. They still don't want to wear masks. People ridiculed you for going out in public and wearing a mask. Even when it was mandated by the governments, people still ridiculed you and looked down upon you by wearing a mask. Mask mandate, masking in general, has been huge for the disability community. It's the one thing that has made some of us feel comfortable of emerging and going into public is us wearing our masks, but it's huge when you go out and other people are not wearing them. And if it's mandated by government policy and people aren't wearing masks, it's hugely frustrating to be able to go out and people not wearing them and they're hacking and they're sneezing and you are scared to go out, right? And for the disabled community, the masking has been huge. People not wearing masks have been huge and us being ridiculed for wearing masks has been huge. I don't know how many times during this, all this that I've heard, well, people that have health problems just shouldn't go out. I'm not wearing a mask because I don't care about these people that have health problems. They shouldn't be going out. Well, no, no, no. We have just as much right to go out in public as anybody else does. It won't kill you to wear a mask. Wear a mask. It's to the point now where if it's mandated to wear them and you don't wear it, you look goofy. You look like the idiot. So I will continue to wear my mask until I feel comfortable um, not doing so in public. I mean, I always wear a mask in public. You know, if it's if it's not mandated anymore by your government, you're free to choose. That's great. Choose to wear one, choose not to wear one. I don't care. But don't give me a hard time for choosing my health and my safety over appearances. You know, if it's mandated, wear it. People and their privilege. You can tell, you can certainly see the people who have never been told no in their entire life through this whole pandemic are the ones that are having the most trouble giving up freedoms, you know? Try being in this disabled body. We have given up freedoms, body autonomy our whole life, and this is just another thing. And the wider community, 
they don't like being told what to do with their bodies. We've been told what to do with them our entire life. So welcome to our lives, right? I don't know. Just, just some thoughts of mine. Okay, guys, so these are my musings for today. I know it's just a little bit of a heavy topic. Shoot me a comment below what changes that you've seen have negatively affected the disabled community. Give this video a thumbs up if you like my disabled comment. Hit the subscribe button, please, please, please. It helps me out. Share this video. Let the broader community know how we've been affected. Maybe some people don't know that it's affected us so horribly and we're scared for our lives because we know that if we get it, there's a good chance that it's not going to go well. All right, guys, that's my heavy topic for today. Happy Sunday. Until next time. Bye-bye.